the opportunity to begin with. How do I put 20 years of disappointment into words? You know, I've been, for the past couple of days, since I was told I would speak, I've been thinking of what to say and how do I put that into words? How do I bottle the emotions and what I feel into words for you people or for people to understand? My name is Mohammed Hassan and I come and I'm a refugee from Kakuma Camp in Northwestern Kenya. And the theme of my life has been displacement and confine confinement. I've spent the last 20 years of my life in a camp and I will go back to that camp next week. So what is at stake here is very, it's, it's, it's crucial for me and the people that I represent in the camps. The place I come from, the camp, it's not an isolated place. We have 185,000 refugees from 10 different nationalities. And we're, all, we're just like other people and we have aspirations and we have dreams and we have needs. And it surprises me that money and capital moves around the world in seconds, but it takes a refugee decades. Or in the case of my mother, she never had a chance to get out, uh, waiting for 25 years for a place to go, for a place to call home. What does it all mean? We talk about ethical and sustainable development. We talk about how we can be ethical with robots and machines. We want to solve death. And there's so much human suffering. We haven't figured out life yet. And I feel I'm on the sidelines watching in, and not just me as an individual, but the people that I represent. And I'm here at Davos to say that, you know, refugee camps are not ethical, putting people in faraway places and pretending that they don't exist. That is not ethical, it's not sustainable, and it's not conducive for human growth. It kills people, it kills the spirit. And that's what keeps me up at night. Will I spend the next 20 in the camp? Will my brothers and sisters, will they have a chance to, to have a home, to own a document, to have a sense of belonging and identity? And I don't see that people don't talk about those things, you know, in a global stage, and I don't hear those conversations. People would rather pretend that we don't exist. I'm not asking for much, I'm just asking for equal opportunity to be given the tools that I need to thrive and to make a life for myself. I'm asking for access to education, access to documents, access to a future that I can feel I am part of. And I'm asking for all of you to demystify the refugee experience. We are not animals and we are not criminals. It's not a crime to flee from your country. I don't know what you're all afraid of, you know. We're human beings and refugees are real people. Get a chance to know us. We're not that different from you. It can happen to anyone. And that's the message that I want, I want to get across to Davos so that when I go back to my camp, I can tell my refugees I represented them well. And I tried my best to, the, to my capabilities to portray and to show you how they feel. Um, globalization 4.0, it's, it's such a big topic, it's a lofty, it's a lofty ideal. But I just want to take all of you to task as you go back. My story is inspiring, I get that. But what do I inspire you to do? It's not just words, it's people's lives that's at stake. I hope you can understand that. Uh, that's the words that I know, and I hope it's simple enough for people to understand. Thank you very much.